Okay. Yeah. Okay. And hello everyone. Good afternoon from China and welcome to our Building Air Quality Live Show. And I'm Ken. I'm Danny. It is our great honor to have you here to watch our live show. So during the introductions, you are welcome at any time. Uh, comment down below and let us know you are most interested in. Or you can click the product link and directly send us the inquiry along with your questions. Our teams are waiting online here to follow up your demands. Okay, first of all, uh, please allow me to make a self-introduction. We, Hoptop, are the leading commercial and industrial HVAC uh, manufacturer yes. and HVAC solution provider with uh, almost two decades of history. Mm -hmm. And right now, we have uh, a lot of type of uh, air handling units. Yes, uh, we yes. have the place type, yes. uh, heat recovery, we... air handling units, uh, the rotary wheel, heat yeah. recovery, yes. air handling units, the heat pipe, heat recovery, air handling units, yes. and the direct expansion, air handling units, yeah, and DX industrial, air handling units. Yes. And today, our topic, is to talk about the industrial air handling units. Yes. And thanks for the years of experience and innovation on our uh, HU design and our technical team and our uh, production team. Hot top industrial air handling units are widely used in various of industrial fields yes. like uh, automobile yes. and aircraft yeah. and textile, textile. and uh, fertilizer. fertilizer, right? And so, yes. uh, Danny, and we would like to uh, we would like your information uh, because mm -hmm. I, uh, as I know that uh, you you are uh, uh, an expert on uh, this field, so uh, <laughs> I like you to uh, make a more uh, introduction about our industrial air handling unit. Yes, uh, manufacturing and industrial facilities have unique HVAC requirements that is need custom design solution. We hope to design and manufacture reliable, efficient custom HVAC machine. And the key machine of HVAC system is the AHU or the air handling unit. So what is industrial AHU? Industrial facilities requires air handling units for application, requiring a set of air change per hour, yes. uh, air temperature uh -huh. and condi air conditioning and uh, air cleaning and air dilution ventilation. So industrial air handling units or HU are used to supply large amount of outside air to dilute uh, the interior's building air quality to control the levels of no, uh, known as a non-critical uh, contaminant. So, These oh, units are self-contained yeah. with a fan, uh, a damper, Mm. a heat exchanger, a filter, a noise attenuator, yes. and all accessories and controls. They have many constructions of options, including the single or, or double uh, wall housing. Uh, mostly, uh, most of the, uh, the industrial as you surely they are a double skin, yes. and uh, well awaited or place a bullet together design. We hope to give you a flexible option to meet the requirement of your manufacturing facilities or process. Okay, so uh, you mean that uh, for the uh, industrial entering units, uh, yes. we will have a lot of uh, customization design and, yes. and a lot of uh, uh, words to, uh, according to the project size, right? Yes, yes. Okay, right. uh, so everyone now, uh, uh, I, I, I guess uh, you, you have a brief understanding uh, about uh, how, uh, where uh, or how we use the industrial uh, air handling units. Yeah. Then uh, what is industrial air handling units looks like? Uh, what, what is the structure looks like? Uh, and now uh, please uh, follow me to in, uh, introduce them as below. Mm -hmm. So uh, the uh, top, uh, could you please uh, show me the picture number one? Yes, and regarding to the hot top air industrial air handling units casing, uh, currently, we have uh, three types. Yes, three uh, types. Three series of uh, products. Uh, they are the uh, 50B, 50B and 80C 18, and 80C. 80B series. 80, yes. And all these items can meet most of the industrial application in terms of the airflow yes. and internal pressure, pressure and 
cash job and it and the price. Yeah. But the price is important, always important. Yeah. Yeah, so right. that's uh we are going to present them one by one. Okay. So uh first of all first of all the, the first one is would be a fifty B. And okay, so please uh, help to show us this uh, picture. Uh show the picture please. Okay. Uh the pictures uh, would be looks like uh, there's a two picture for the uh, picture if you, if you see. Uh, the first one is the internal structure. This shows the, what is the, how is the uh, panel to uh, combine together. Oh, it, lo it looks like the, the panel construction and uh, con connection, right? Yes, uh, and the second one is the uh, project side uh, picture. So uh, as you see, this uh, 15B uh, uh, panel is uh, use of, uh, I mean, the, 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 the panel is 50 mm. A double skin. Ah, the uh, thickness of the, the panel, right? The, the insulation, ah. the thickness is 50 mm, which inside is injected with a PU or lock wood, uh, which is based on the uh, project requirements in terms of the thermal uh, uh, insulation. And uh, the panel is, uh, I said, is 50 mm thickness and it's a double skin. Yeah. And, uh, the airflow for this type of uh, panel is from 10,000 to 280,000 cmh. So the airflow is, is very, very a, big. A large range. Yes. yes. And uh, you know, the internal and external panel is made of a combined uh, byte type of structure. I mean, the uh, panel and panel con connection is like a, a, a Z type. Ah, I understand. So it is uh, uh, connected by this way, and yeah, they will, they there will. is a bullet to, con uh, to combine the, uh, between different panel. Yes. We call it a Z type st yeah. steel uh, 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 style. And the external panel is uh, with color coated uh, steel. And the thickness can be uh, 0 0.6, 0 0.6 and 0.8 mm. And of course, uh, if some projects need to be uh, more thickness, then it can be uh, customized at the same time. Yes, I understand that and some projects, uh, they will ask for uh, 1 mm. Yeah, do, yeah. do we have that? Yeah, of yes. course. Uh, That's great. A color panel and a steel stainless, steel stainless uh, panel is available. Yeah. And the internal panel, the internal panels normally is used of a galvanized steel and uh, the thickness is also 0.6 mm and we have option of 0.75 mm and at the same time, the internal panels can be a uh, stainless steel. It's also available. And uh, most important, because uh, the unit is very large, like the unit, like a 280,000 cmh unit. The size is, would be uh, around 28 or 16, 16 meters length. So it is very important to make the unit as a CKD shipping. Uh, to save the shipping cost and uh, make sure the units can be uh, reassembled at the project site. So uh, for this uh, 850B uh, series HU is also available to uh, disassemble like a, CK, like a CKD and reassemble at the project site. Yes, so this is the panel's uh, uh, information for the 50B. Mm. And okay, so uh, uh, then you just uh, talk about the the panels uh, of the uh, uh, 50B series. And I would like to talk about something about the, the framework. And uh, our framework is uh, made of a high strength composite aluminum alloy framework. Mm -hmm. And the frame beam and exposed beam are made of aluminum alloy and injected with the PU for cold bridge breaking. Mm -hmm. The cold, uh, cold bridge factors uh, meet TB2 grade and the thermal transmittance meets the T2 grade. The internal panel is equipped with a rectangular uh, galvanized tube to enhance uh, the AHU strength. Yes, just and like the picture you see yes, on the, the yes, screen. A lot of uh, uh, frame and bar you can see there. And next, uh, I would like to uh, introduce uh, an, uh, the, the, the next series, uh, okay. the ATC yes. panel uh, features. And this, uh, the ATC series panel are uh, used for the, uh, an, an aero airflow range uh, from uh, the 20,000 to uh, uh, 320,000 cmh. The thickness of this such panel is 
ATMM. ATMM. Yes, yes. Uh, very thick. And the internal and external panel is uh, made of a uh, combined five type structure panel. Uh, the same uh, as 50D, yes. right? Yes. Yeah. And the panel uh, connect, uh, is connected by also by a uh, C style structure. Yes. yes. And like this. its external panel is uh, with uh, color coated steel, uh, and the thickness is, is uh, uh, 0 0.6 mm or 0 0.8 mm yes. uh, um, and of course uh, it, it's, uh, it can be customized and, and we can use a thicker as a panel as a customers need mm -hmm. and the internal panel uh, is uh, also uh, made of a galvanized sheet or uh, stainless steel and this and but uh, the stainless steel is uh, optional the yes. thickness is, uh, is from uh, 0 0.6 mm to uh, 0 0.75 mm. Mm -hmm. So uh, it is very flexible to disassemble and easy to assemble a project size. Yes. It means that uh, we will also uh, break it down uh, into spare parts and then and when we sh uh, ship them to the project size and we, mm -hmm. uh, the users can uh, install the units again. Mm -hmm. Yes, so this is the, the panel for the AT, uh, B. Yeah. And in terms of the ATB, the framework, this is almost the same as the 50 uh, B. 50B, yes. yes, it is also the high strength yes. composite aluminum alloy framework, as you see it on the picture. Uh, it is the, the, the beam is made of uh, aluminum alloy framework. And the frame beam and exposed beams are made of aluminum alloy and injected with PU and it is co bridge breaking. Corporate factor can also meet TB2 and the thermal transmittance also meet T2. And the internal panel and is also equipped with a rectangular a galvanized tube to enhance the AGU structure strength. I mean the, the panel and the internal uh, combination. Ah, okay. So uh, from the information you, you just uh, introduced, uh, so I can see that the uh, the 50B series and the ATC ser uh, series are sharing the same framework and yes. panel structure. But ATC has a wider range of airflow and internal pressure job for choice. Uh, we will talk about this uh, later. later okay. And all these two types are frame uh, framework structure. structure yes. yes, but uh, NETS. Uh, what we are going to introduce is uh, the uh, ATC B. B series, yes. and this is norm framework type air handling unit with super performance. Yes, uh, you are right. The ATB type HU adopt with a non framework structure. It will be more simple to assemble at the project site. And here, let me to present this to the panel features here, and please also show the pictures of this. Uh, a unit. As you see, this is two, these two pictures is uh, the, the, the house looks like. Ah. One is in the uh, factory uh, before uh, factory, EX factory assemble. Yep. And the, the next one is the insulation uh, material. It is uh, rock wood. Yes. So what is the ATV's uh, structure features? Can you talk something about this? Okay, and uh, the HJK uh, ATB series air handling unit is using internal panel structure. Uh, that means uh, we don't have the, the framework, uh, yes. the, the governance framework uh, for, for that. Yeah. And it is with ATMM rock wall insulation Material. materials. Yeah. The casing is with modular design. Yeah. The internal panel is a galvanized uh, steel or stainless steel. steel with a thickness of 2.0 mm or 1.5 mm. Mm -hmm. The internal panel is with 0 0.8 or 0 0.6 mm. And it is a uh, uh, corporate and galvanized sheet. And AHU bottom, mm -hmm. I mean the, the uh, bottom panel inside the AHU is fully welded to guarantee zero water and air leakage. Mm -hmm. the, the top panel, the top panel of the HU and the side panel is connected by bolt. Yes. The insulation material is with uh, rock wall, wood. Uh, uh -huh. with a C type uh, reinforced structure, and the panel can uh, is connected by bolt. The surface panel is corrugated uh, with with the galvanized sheet, Steel. and all components inside the HU is also connected by bolt. 
Yes, so it means the connection is all by boat. There's no uh, a framework and the project installation will be very uh, easy and convenient. Okay, the above are the basic uh, structure of Hopto Industrial HU in terms of its panel and the structure. And in order to clear their future and advantage, we are going to have a quick re summary of these uh, items. Okay, please show the uh, summaries of this uh, picture. So, so uh, as you can see, as you can see, the uh, there's a ATB, 50B, ATC, and uh, ATB. Okay, so this first of all, let's see the 50B. The 50B is the structure is a frame structure exposed being the connection, and the insulation will be PU rock wood, and the insulation thickness will be 50 mm. The densities of the uh, insulation material would be uh, 45 to 60 or even 120 kilo kgs per, per, per CPM, right? Per CPM, yes, you're right. And the friend reduction class would be B1 and A, and the airflow can be uh, 10,000 to 280,000 CMH. And the total pressure should less than 2,800 Pascal. And the casing's uh, mechanical strength can be very well meet our China G, uh, GB standard. Uh, it, this is the China GB standard, huh? And the thermal transmittance can meet the EN 1886-2007, the T2 standard. Cobridge would be the TB2 standard. And the air liquid is is smaller than the clean rooms HU. I mean, this, uh, this is the, our China standard. It means that the HU is injected with 1,000 Pascal's air and the liquid rate should be less than 1%. Okay. So this can yeah. be very well to meet mm. the GB standard. Okay. Yes, so uh, as, uh, as you introduced uh, just now, that uh, the ATC series uh, would be very similar to the 50B series mm -hmm. and just uh, with a um, different airflow range and uh, pressure. And I, I can see that the 50B series uh, uh, is complying the GB standard and, uh, and the EU standard, uh, the, the EN uh, 1886 and 2007. And uh, for the ADC uh, series, we have the, a similar performance, but uh, the the airflow range is for uh, two, 20 thousand CMH to uh, 320,000 uh, 20, CMH, and the total pressure inside the HU is available uh, is high up to uh, 3,200 pounds. Yes. So, uh, so that means the 50B and ADC. Uh, the, the structure is almost the same, but yes. the ATCs can bear in more uh, high airflow and uh, more high the internal pressure. Yes, yes. And so um, uh, let's uh, have a look at the ATB. Yes. Uh, the ATB is the, the highest standard of our products and it is uh, made uh, completely made of a uh, panel structure, no framework, and the internal is uh, very smooth. And it is also uh, made of uh, it, the insulation. I mean, the insulation material is uh, also a uh, rock wall, and the, the insulation thickness is uh, 80 mm, and the density is uh, from uh, 60 to 120 kilogram per cpm. And the frame retreated uh, class is uh, A, class A. This and is the most, uh, the, the highest, highest is, standard. Yes, because you use a lot of wood. Yes, and the DFO range is uh, from uh, 100,000 to uh, uh, 320,000 CMH. CMH. Yes. And the total pressure inside the HU is available uh, as uh, 4,000 pounds. And the casing and the casing is uh, compared to the D1 class. Uh, the the, the yeah. advanced. Yes. And I guess that, 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 that is a very high standard in, in, in the, the EU standard. Yes. And the thermal uh, transmittance is uh, complying to the T2 uh, class and the uh, coverage factor is complying to the, the TP2. Yes. And the air leakage is complying to the L1 uh, class. And mm. this is the highest, highest standard. standard. And so the, the whole units are complying the EU standard. 
Okay, so that is the uh, ATV, 50V, ATC, and ATV. So uh, all the above are for the structures of Hop Top Industry HU as per project. HU may not share the same uh, sections and function. And in order to help you have a general idea of industry, HU, here I'd like to take one of the HU selections during, for example, to present more information to you. So please show the picture. Okay, here, as you see, so this is the uh, industry HU for the uh, painting's uh, room. And from the left to the right, you can see the, the fourth section is would be the outdoor inlet section. And the outdoor inlet section after this section would be the pre-filter section. Normally, this filter would be G3 or G4 filter. This is for primary the treatment for the, the purification. And after this, there will be the uh, direct uh, uh, heating uh, section. For these sections, it is used the direct heating section and, and, and the median is gas, natural gas or liquid gas. And this, please pay, pay attention, this uh, section length is 3,000 mm. And because the, the, the burnings, then they need to, to reserve uh, enough space to uh, have enough uh, air heating of this section. And after this section is the, the coil. These coil sections can be both for heating or cooling, which is based on the, 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 the median inlet, yes. the hot water or treat water. And after this section, this will be the humidifier section. This, hum this humidifier section is a, a spray uh, a type, which is very high efficiency and uh, low cost. Uh, for this section later, we are going to have more information about this. And then will be the heating section. For this head heating section, it is, uh, you know, it is uh, addiction as heating, because after the uh, primary is uh, gas heating and uh, and the coil heating, yes, and, and there will be some, uh, 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 no, I mean, the, after the humidifier section, some of the air they ah. need to uh, ret retreat with the heating yes, to yes. make it meet the. Uh, so, so you mean the, the the humidifying will make the air uh, the the air cool, and then you, yes. you need a reheating section. Yes, and then it will be the fan section. This fan section is about uh, three thousand five hundred mm length. The reason why to reserve such a wide length is because. Uh, for this section, the, there inside is the fan, and yeah. the fan need to repress in the future uh, for maintenance. So if, as you see, there's a two service door in, uh, in this fan section to make sure it's uh, easy to remove the fan or the motor or the uh, puree to, uh, to repress the uh, a bad drive. And then there will be the diffuser section. The diffuser section is to make the air shoes and then there will be the sound attenuator because the noise it's also will be the key. It should be very, very large noise inside, yes, right? Yes, yes. So this, this is the measure to reduce the noise. Uh, we call it a noise attenuator. And, and then there's another uh, a shoe section, we call the middle section. And then finally will be the, the filter and the supply section. So the, this whole HU in combined different kinds of section and makes the air to treat more uh, complicated to meet the production process. As you see, this HU will be uh, 18 meters length and with the height of 3.5 meter. So it is, in terms of its configura configuration and size, it's very, very large. Just like a house. <laughs> yes, it's like a house. But so for this HU, it needs surely to uh, disassemble and reassemble at the project site yes. to make sure it is uh, uh, easy to assess to the project site and to uh, shipping uh, no matter in the factory or, or, or on the road. So okay, uh, so yes. this is for this is for the uh, basic structure of the HU. So uh, in this picture, um, this is uh, one typical uh, industrial air handling unit that, that we can see in most of our projects and with uh, such uh, sections and arrangement. Yes. And as you see, there are uh, sections to combine together as a whole industrial air handling mm -hmm. unit. And each section has its function for the heating, cooling, purification, humidifying, and ventilation, and so on. 
So we're going to introduce the main section uh, one by one. Mm -hmm. Yes, the first one we are talking about, it is the heating section. As we know, most of the industry ATU, they need to treat a large amount of airflow, normally yeah. at least 50,000 cmh. So no matter so for an indoor circulation or 100% fresh air HU, in order to quickly heat up the air temperature in a very short period, the most efficient way would be the gas heating. And the hot top industry HU are good at this. So please, so uh, the picture of the uh, gas heating. Okay, so uh, as you can see in this picture, uh, and this is a, a picture on size, uh, uh, a, a real picture on, on our project size uh, uh, about the uh, gas heating devices and its uh, section. And so you can, you can see uh, many free parts of, of the, uh, for, uh, to combine into uh, one uh, gas burning system. Uh, the first one is the uh, piping, the gas piping. And you can see a lot of uh, pipe and devices, including the, the uh, valve and, and some uh, con uh, control components. Yes. And, and this is very important uh, to, the, uh, to realize the control function. Mm -hmm. And another, uh, another part of this uh, system is the uh, gas burning device uh, inside the HU. HU yes. yes. And as you see, uh, this, this device is uh, uh, actually very small, but uh, its uh, heating efficiency is very, very, very high. Yes. And then another part, the, uh, the third part of this uh, system is the uh, control panel and the control box. Control box, yes. yes. And the, this control box is, um, is uh, of course, it, is, uh, it, it will need the help uh, from the uh, wires of uh, the uh, sensor and switch uh, to uh, help the uh, control system to control the whole uh, heating uh, process. So um, this is uh, the, the main components uh, we use in one gas heating system. Okay, and next. Okay, so uh, as you see, just uh, Ken mentions, the uh, gas heating is will be a very high efficiency way to, to heat up the air. Just draw a reference. If uh, use one inch uh, gas heating, then the heating capacity would be 200 kilowatts. Wow. So the heating, the, the heating capacity is very large. Uh, you, by use a small the pieces of uh, a gas heating, gas heating section. So, okay, this is the direct uh, heating, gas heating. And, and this, uh, this uh, heating device is suitable to flow to below application. There is uh, some application that is suitable for such uh, gas, direct gas heating. The first one is the uh, heating for the painting spy workshop. Because for painting the spy workshop, they, it's a very large uh, area which is need to heat up the air in a very short time. And these gas heating devices will be a good uh, solution. The, other, the, the second one is the heating for HVAC replacement air in the factory or warehouse. And the third one is drying or heating or for grain and the concealer. And, the sealant, sealant. and the, 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 the fifth one is the painting drying or curling over or circulation uh, uh, furnace. The last one is drying for uh, uh, printing newspaper. Yes. Okay. So, so you mean that in the I I remember that we have a, a project uh, uh, for a printing factory and yes. Uh, uh, so in that project, uh, our uh, industrial air handling units uh, provide hot and dry air mm -hmm. to dry the the, the paper uh, mm -hmm. after printing, right? Yes. Okay. Understood. So uh, we will, uh, we can uh, have some uh, features uh, of the such gas heating. So uh, the first one is uh, the lower upfront investment. So uh, comparing to the steam heating and the gas heating is uh, more uh, uh, specified. Uh, data can be, uh, uh, if you have uh, an, an such a uh, uh, question, you can, you can uh, send us a, a question to, uh, we can send you more information. Mm -hmm. and, and the second one is the more energy saving during the heating process. And the third one is the low maintenance cost and fewer easily damaged parts. Mm -hmm. So uh, we don't uh, need a lot of uh, maintenance and, and replacement parts for, for such a device. 
and the hope is the simple in installation of oh, high pin works and yes. less space <laughs> occupation in workshop. And the last one is the shorter time to heat up the outdoor fresh air. As you know, the gas will directly burn inside the air chute and directly heat the air. Mm -hmm. So the efficiency is very, very high. And we, also, we can also get a higher accuracy on supply air temperature control. Mm -hmm. So uh, the above is the direct uh, gas heating is a, a feature and application. And there is another uh, gas heating is called uh, indirect uh, gas heating. Uh, for those places which ask with request to uh, a high air qualities, it is not allowed to have uh, something like a dioxygen or nutrients uh, uh, gas inside of the room. So at this time, a direct heating, a direct gas heating devices is will be a, a, a nice solution. So please show the picture of these uh, indirect gas heating devices. So as you see, the gas burning inside of the coil would be uh, uh, first of all the gas will heat uh, inside of the coil, and then the air will be go through this coil to again heat by the. Uh, the, the gas, the heat, the, the air is get heat again by this, the coil. And the gas is, is, is burning inside of the coil. And after the burning, there will be nutrient gas and then carbon, di carbon dioxide gas will be uh, sucked directly to the outdoor. So to this way, uh, it is means the heating is will be very, very clean without any nutrient or carbon dioxide to send it to in the door. So uh, this indirect gas heating, it will be suitable for those places uh, ask with a high density populated uh, place. I mean, so those places which inside of the room has a lot of people inside. They need uh, a fresh oxygen to breathe. And, uh, which area, and, for, and also for those areas ask with, with very high requirements of the, the air cleanliness such as the uh, a sports, indoor sports uh, stadium. Okay, friends, uh, during the introduction, you are welcome at any time to comment down below to let me know what you are most interested in. Or you can click the product link and directly send us an inquiry along with your questions. Our sales team are always waiting online to follow up with your demands. So uh, the above, uh, introduction uh, for the gas heating. Mm -hmm. And in fact, uh, for, for the heating section, uh, we also have uh, some other choice, and such like the coil heating, and steam heating, and electric heating. Mm -hmm. And for this part, uh, so let's have a quick view of the, this feature. So uh, Tom, please uh, show me the pictures. Okay, so for the Cooper pipe and aluminum, as you see on the picture, uh, for the Cooper pipe uh, and the aluminum thin coil, they are featured as below. Uh, design and working pressure is 1.6 MPa, and with the texting pressure of 2.4 MPa when in the factory production line. And the coil header is we could equipped with uh, drain valves at the lowest, lowest site, and the gas release valve at the highest site. The Cooper pipe is. The Cooper pipe, this coil is with a Cooper pipe and aluminum fin. And the head, head of the pipe is made of a stainless steel. Of course, it's optional to use a Cooper's uh, or stainless steel for a specific project. And the coil can, the load of the coil can be two to 10 uh, rows, that which is, means it's uh, with a very wide range. And uh, the, the framework of the coil is made of galvanized uh, uh, steel. Uh, or in the, even the stainless steel is also an option. And there is also slope drain pan to correct uh, condensation to water. And, con and this uh, drain pan can be made of stainless steel. And after the, the, uh, the tube, after the coil, there can also be a, 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 a moisture eliminator once the air Velocity is exceed 2.5 meter per hour per seconds. Then there is a need a water eliminator to stop the water to flow out into the room. Yes, and so uh, we we have uh, another choice that is the steam coil. And normally it is uh, made of uh, copper tube with uh, copper fin. 
to uh, prevent the thermal stress from straining. And we can have, uh, we, we have, uh, have uh, one to two rows for choice. And in, that, in addition, uh, hot top uh, steam coil also have uh, below special specification. And yes, uh, it is a specification uh, of our own. And first, it is uh, the, uh, made of uh, the normal absolute operating temperature is uh, available in uh, 230. 31. 31 uh, centigrade. centigrade yes. And the maximum operation uh, steam op, uh, temperature could be high up to 350 centigrade. Yes. And with a uh, normal operation pressure about uh, 0 0.34 uh, uh, MPa. Yes. And the maximum operation steam pressure could be high up to uh, 0 0.6. MPA. MPA. Uh, yes, MPA means uh, 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 MPA gauges. Uh -huh. million, million pa, right? Yes, yes. Okay, so for heating, the last one is the electric heating. It is simple and a good solution for any heating section. And it has also has below feature, uh, equipped with 90 degree thermal protection switch. And uh, the, it is, can be pure pipe or pipe with thin uh, uh, structure. And the control can be segment control. I mean, it can be has group to separate into different group of the heating classes. And it can also have a silicon control refit here, which means it can has a, a, a SUS temperature control for this electric uh, heater. Okay, so uh, we have talked about the industrial air handling unit heating section. Yes. And let's come to the next section, the filter section. Yes. So, uh, Tom, please uh, show me the uh, filter section. Uh, you can you can see in this picture, and uh, we can find uh, some uh, panel filter, uh, mm -hmm. back filter, and uh, and another type of uh, filter that I will introduce later. And the first, it would be the panel, panel filter. filters uh, yes. from class uh, G two to G four, and it is made of non-woven fabric, and it is yes. arranged in the frame of PVC or aluminium alloy, alloy. in W, w, w shape. shape. Yes. And the filter material of uh, the uh, non woven fabric is washable. Yes. So uh, it means that uh, we can wash it uh, when it's, it is it's dirty. dirty. Yes. And the next is the back filter from class of uh, F5 to, to F9. F9. Yes. And it is the frame of the such a filter, uh, the back filter is made of alum aluminum mm, alloy. Oh, yes. And there are two kinds of filter materials. The chemical fiber and the glass fiber. The filter uh, material is uh, depo uh, disposable. Yes, which means it's a one time use. Yes. So uh, next is the uh, HIPAA filter class. Uh, as you know, as, uh, in some of the projects, uh, we, uh, they will ask for a uh, very high quality uh, and yes. clean air. So uh, some, some of the units will ask for such a, a filter. It is made of uh, ultra fine fiber. Uh, paper or uh, filter material and galvanized steel plates for the frame. Yes. The last one is the automatic back blowing uh, cartridge, uh, cartridge filter. filter. And this is a special filter, uh, filter which is normally used for dust collection Gosh. and cleanliness. Uh, as uh, we can see that uh, in some uh, pharmaceutical factory, Yes. And they will normally they will have uh, a lot of powder inside in, in the in the air, so mm -hmm. uh, they will need to collect such air uh, such dust uh, before it is exhausted to outdoor. Mm -hmm. Okay. After the filter section, that we are going to introduce is the last section. This is the humidific humidifier section. For humidifier, there are so many ways, and the hot industrial humidifier hot industrial edge humidifier can uh, be uh, equipped with according to the customer's uh, requirement. I mean, uh, the, the humidifier can be uh, uh, selected based on project. And uh, for industrial age use, right now we use uh, two types. One is uh, isothermal dry steam humidification. And the other one is isothermal spiring humidification. And so the mainly section length would be 200 uh, mm. And okay, so please also show these uh, pictures of the uh, hot top uh, humidifier that looks like. As you see in these three pictures, 
uh, on the, 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 the left one is the uh, stainless steel uh, humidifiers uh, pipe. And as you see, there's a, a, a gauge uh, on, the, on this picture to show what's the, the gauge pressure of the water. And the second picture, as you see, this is the basement of the HU. Just you mentioned before, yeah. the basement of the HU is made of uh, a stainless steel and is yes. is 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 wielding, not a screws uh, a com com combination. Yes. So it is very uh, you very uh, high. Uh, so there's no li no there's no air leakage, air leakage or even <sighs> water leakage. And as you see the third picture, this is the uh, a stainless uh, water pump, which is consists of uh, you know the, the the tank, some of the tank beside this pump, and this a stainless this steel pan, uh, water pump. So all these three pictures to just to simply simply to show you the, what it looks like, the humidifier for the spiring uh, section. Okay, so okay, so let's see the. The next. Okay, so uh, let me uh, in, in quickly uh, to summarize the feature of uh, uh, the below. Yes. And first, uh, we use a large spray hole to, to improve, improve the effects of the humidification and, and cooling. cooling yes. yes. And the second is the optimal, uh, the, the optional uh, the dual, dual pump uh, structure. Yes. The proportional electric wealth for humidifying control and water pump uh, separate control and dual linkage humidification control mode. Yes. And next is the dual pressure uh, gauge, uh, display the pressure and the working status. All are made of the stainless steel structure and the automatic protection of high and low water level. Yes. And the next is the overflow filtration system. And uh, circulating water tank and the authorization and and intercept uh, antiseptics, uh, antiseptics and the, the disinfection. So uh, it is with perfect design and can stand temperature, hot water supply, and humidifying mode and cooling mode. Yes, uh, as you see, there's uh, a different kinds of protection in terms of control. Uh, like a pressure, like a water, and uh, also so thinking about the uh, actual use. Yes. So uh, this system, this all these uh, measurements is to guarantee the system can yes. uh, running shoes. Okay, friends, uh, me and Ken have a, a brief present of Hopto Industry AHU type uh, structure and key future of sections. And the, next, we are going to have a see uh, where we we'll use this AHU. So. Uh, it is about the application. So please show the pictures of this application. So in these pictures, in these pictures, you are going to have a see. Uh, right now, hot top industry AHU is widely used in the automobiles, uh, industrials, aircraft uh, industry, and uh, even textile industry, or the fertilizer industry. And for more automobiles uh, manufacturing industry so far, the hot top industry AHU already uh, used in the shop workshop of like a painting workshop, a weddings uh, workshop, and a painting workshop, and production uh, uh, workshop, and assembly workshop, which is means for the automobile uh, manufacturing factories, all workshop, our AHU already is used in it. And the performance is also very good. Okay, so this is for the um, automobile industries and manufacturing's uh, uh, application. And the next uh, I'm going to introduce with you is uh, uh, a vehicle or the high speed or the aircraft industry. Actually, this is almost the same uh, process. I mean, it is used in the painting booths. For painting booths, it is means uh, the indoor temperature should be very accuracy uh, control. Indoor temperature should be 20, 20 degrees with up and low the one degrees a, a fracture. And the humidity will, should be con strict, strictly controlled by 60 percent with up and up and down the five percent a fracture. And the indoor the 
air cleanings should be kept by ISO, ISO 7. Uh, it's also called a, a 10 sirens crisis. And the airflow should be up supply, should be supply on the top and the return from the down. And the airspeed from up to the down should be constantly kept uh, 0 0.35 uh, meters per second. So this is very uh, important to to have the such performance for the painting a uh, uh, boost. Yes, and uh, as, as I know that uh, uh, for uh, for a plane, uh, uh, um, if we move a plane into a workshop, uh, yes. it is impossible for us to move the plane uh, from this workshop to that workshop to complete the different uh, process. Yes. So a plane should be kept in the same workshop to uh, complete all the process inside. Yes. So, uh, so no, so no matter from the at the very beginning for uh for, for you know for painting after yes. painting yes. the loom should be uh, during the painting it's an, it's need to make sure the con condition yes. uh, to meet the, the strictly meets just what I mentioned before and after the painting they should be driving yes. and for driving this means uh, the edge will turn to the heating at the, at the center mode so the heating uh, should be uh, very quickly to heat up the air temperature ah. from the uh, very low temperature to high temperature in a very short time. So for the industrial air handling units, uh, we will have to uh, create different kind of air condition for different mm. process. Yes. And that would ask for good ability yes. to, to the HU, right? Yeah, it means that the HU can apply in the, in the full conditions yes. to meet the production process. And Danny, and yes. as I know that uh, before I came uh, came into the uh, auto group, uh, I, I heard that uh, the bands has been cooperating with us for a long, long, long time, and yes. a very more, uh, many, many projects. Yeah. So um, it's it is just like a legend project in our company. Yes, so you're right. uh, could you could you uh, make a brief introduction about this project? Yeah, uh, Benz, uh, you know, we work with Benz from the beginning of year yeah. 2011. And uh, at, 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 at that time, the Benz uh, start to uh, communicate with us, contact with us. And uh, in fact, we have competitors. This yes. competitor is also from uh, German. Of course. And, but because of the high, the super performance of Hoptop AGU, I mean, the performance. The design ability and the production ability and uh, and uh, the project size installation ability and the whole the, the professional team service ability and finally the uh, bands they uh, choose a hot top as the as the supplier for the extra part and from the beginning of 2011 uh, we start to cooperation in terms of the AHU and from that time the after from that time, uh, we cover, we continue to cooperate toward the last year. Like uh, you, you, as you can see on the, on these pictures, we cooperate from 2011, and then the 2012, and then the 2013, and 2016, and 2018, and 2017, or even 2019, and even last year. Wow, so from this picture, I can see that uh, we have been uh, cooperating for almost 10 years and we have been providing uh, more than 100 uh, units to bands. Yes. And as I know that bands, uh, for, uh, they, they made the highest standard uh, for the car factory air handling uh, requirement. Mm -hmm. And Hoptop can win this project and that is so great. <laughs> yeah, you are right. And except uh, this is Ben's uh, project is, is in domestic, and in fact, in domestic, we also uh, cooperate uh, with uh, a lot of uh, uh, domestic brand or yes. joint venture brand of automobile uh, factory. And except this uh, domestic project, we also have a project for overseas. Uh, this project is also an automobile uh, factory, which is uh, built in the Belarus. Oh. And uh, it is very large uh, project for uh, us hot top. Uh, we provide a nearly the 40 set of uh, air handling wow. units uh, with or without air to air heat recovery. Uh, and uh, we also send our, our people, our, I mean our installation That's people, nice. our team to, uh, to the Belarus to help them to support a project installation. 
and uh, also you can see that the picture of this uh, Ferrolas uh, project. It is a very large uh, uh, AHU uh, which is installed on the rooftop. And beside is our people there to, to install. And uh, for this battle rust uh, HU, the biggest one, H, biggest one unit is 280 thousand cubic meter per hour HU. Wow. So this is the biggest uh, HU so far we hope to produce for uh, industrial application. So and uh, and so far this H, all this old HU in battle rust uh, operation uh, aware and uh, give the very strong uh, uh, support for the uh, Belarus automobile uh, factory uh, to guarantee the performance of the car's uh, 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 quality. Yes, I, I, I've heard uh, something about this project. Uh, uh, it, it seems that uh, the, the, project, the total amount of this project uh, we cooperate is about uh, 6 billion US dollars. Uh -huh. and that is a great, great project. And yes, and uh, time's running. So um, this is uh, what we would like to show you today. And I believe that uh, you would have uh, get a main idea about our industrial air handling unit. And I guess you have some question to ask. So uh, let's uh, see what questions we collected from our audience. And question number one, mm -hmm. and I need a large capacity HU. I think he's talking about the industrial air handling units mm -hmm. uh, for a textile workshop. Uh, mm -hmm. Yes, definitely. So, uh, but I don't have uh, the detailed design of the HU. So, uh, could you uh, recommend your solution? So, I think he, he is uh, asking asking for the, the design of the HU. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yes. First of all, uh, we we should discuss for the details and get the necessary information from uh, this customer. Yeah. The indoor air conditions, the extract requirements like uh, the ventilation airflow, cooling and heating capacity, uh, the fibers or particles, in, if there is a fiber or particles in the air, because this is a textile factory. Yes, yes, I believe so. Any uh, uh, violate uh, matters or heat emission for the production process yes, line. Yes. And we can provide a different design and, and solution okay. for customer to, to choice. Yes. But above all, our solution should be uh, confirmed by the customer, yeah, of course. Yeah, so, so, uh, so, so, so you mean uh, our design is professional, but, uh, but we need the customers to, to confirm our unit is uh, com uh, satisfying their requirements because, uh, because the customers are the professional person to, to to, uh, to manufacturing the textile, and we are the professional ones to manufacturing the HU. Yes, this means uh, our H, our industry HU should be perfect to match their production yes. process requirements. Yes, this is two kinds of perfectionist uh, fear. Yes, to so we should work together. Yes, you are right. Yes. Okay, so uh, let's uh, see another question, and one of our friends is asking. Uh, I need an uh, industrial air handling unit to deal with the 60 centi degree return air in the in a steel plant. What oh, that is a steel plant, and can your units handle it? So so I mean he's talking about uh, the high high temperature, high return air temperature. Mm -hmm. That uh, I know that uh, this high te uh, high temperature will bring uh, something that we need to uh, pay attention to when we design the AHU. Mm -hmm. So, uh, Danny, could you uh, please uh, help my okay. friend? Okay, so uh, first of all, I should uh, need this frame to clarify that if this 60% uh, air would be returned to AHU, yeah. or this uh, 60 degree air would be just sucked out directly to the outside door, if this uh, 60, 60 degrees return air will go in go back to the AGU, then we should pay attention to some key components as we roll. The first one is the fan. Yeah. Uh, normally for a fan, the, the maximum temperature uh, for a fan should, should not less, should, should less than 50 degrees. Yeah. Uh, so the, the best one is less than 45 a degree. So if this uh, 60 degree, uh, Return air will go back to the HU and go through to the uh, the fan. Then I guess the fan and the motor should have a, a special a treatment. Yes. And it is better to use 
the external drive a motor. I mean, the, the motor should external of the, the HU, outside of outside the HU, the HU. Oh. and to make sure the, uh, the the air temperature of the, the motor is less than uh, 60 degrees. Yes. That's to a good idea. The, yeah. the, the motor is running at very strict uh, condition. And and if this uh, 60 degree is just out of the the door without yeah. any uh, use of the returned HU, then just to suck out and but make sure the thing is uh, good to bearing the 50 yes, to yes. 60 degrees uh, temperature yes i think that is uh, that is uh, 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 an issue that uh, the customer should pay attention to yes uh, right. no matter they uh, get the air returned back to the hu or they get the air uh, uh, exhausted to outdoor directly yes and they, they should have to solve the, the high temperature problem to yes. the fan yes and the motor and the thing yes yes and but uh, anyway uh, yes we can do this <laughs> so and question this. number three okay and can your industrial air handling units handle the oil in the air inside the workshop uh, so I guess the, the, the factory have uh, some uh, oil in the air and they need to uh, filter the, the air, the, the, the oil mm -hmm. and make it, uh, take, Clean. Take, take it off from the air. And okay. I guess they, they will need uh, to return the air, and, but they need to get, get the oil mm -hmm, mm -hmm. taken off. So uh, what do you suggest? Uh, if this is... Uh a processing uh, a factory AHU, then we should make sure this AHU is uh, is used for this for the this project, of course, yes. huh? Yeah. And what kinds of this oil it is? I mean, what is the uh, uh, so uh, what exactly consists the of this oil? Ah, uh -huh. The chemical uh, uh, chemical uh, oil. If oil. this oil has something like a, a corrosive, or yeah. it, it's just a simple oil. Yeah. Then, if it is simple oil, then we can use uh, a spatial correction a, a panel to uh, correct the oil from the air uh, to let the core, let the oil just uh, on the on the panel, and then we can clean the panel directly. And if this coil, this oil has something like a corrosive, then I think we need to have some uh, chemical way to you know to to make it no uh, less corrosive and resolve and, and, and stop it by the filter and then the replace the filters uh, over but anyway uh, i think for this project we need to know more about the oil and know more about the the the, 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 the production process yeah. and uh, if there are any uh, requirements for the indoor temperature control or or or, or just only the the oil treatment this part should be uh, clear. Yes, and so, uh, but uh, I, I, I remember that uh, we, uh, we will have, uh, I, I uh, met, uh, met some projects uh, before, mm -hmm. and they are using the, the uh, stainless steel uh, uh, plate filter, mm -hmm. and some of them are using a uh, paper box, a special paper box, and, mm -hmm. and uh, I, uh, do, could you uh, make a brief introduction about this? Uh, Two kinds of uh, filter. Uh, and for paper, it is a, is is a spatial use on the painting booth. Ah. Yeah, it is a paper a box which is can absorb the oil from the air. Uh, the, the 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 oil will be go through this uh, filter a box, and the oil will be just as uh, absorbed on ah. the surface of the paper. So, so when when the, when the box is dirty, the, the user can uh, just need to take, take it, it off out, and take then it out and, and throw it away, or maybe they yes. they have the box burned. Yeah, and the second way is uh, steel slits uh, steel. There will be a, uh, so many small, uh, small holes on the, on, on the on the stainless panel, yes. and when the air goes through, some of the oil will be leave on the uh, on the panel. Mm. And for a long time, the oil would be a uh, flow just throughout, and then oh. people, customer can clean by the stainless steel. Oh. So, so, so they, they don't need to replace the, the, the oil filter, they just need to clean it from, from time to time. Mm. Yeah, yes. but it also depends. It oh. also depends on the, how heavy the oil it is. Yes, yes uh, definitely. And so, uh, so the answer is uh, yes, uh, but uh, we, will, uh, we would like your sharing on your purchase information. And question number four, and uh, this is 
this, this customer is uh, caring about the discount. So what discount? <laughs> and I guess that uh, you, you, can, you can find uh, the discount information on our official uh, website. Okay. And we, yes, have, uh, right. we have a discount for our product uh, um, uh, for the orders and for your order during the uh, Alibaba March Expo event. Mm -hmm. We will give out additional discount. So um, thanks for uh, all your, uh, all the audience. Uh, and, but I'm afraid that I have to end up with my show now. So um, anyway, our sales team are always waiting online for your message. Mm -hmm. So uh, in the coming few days, we will keep giving more live show about our products and service. So uh, stay tuned. And don't forget to get, get discounts. discounts for your order oh, there, during, during Alibaba March Expo promotion. promotion. Uh, See you later. See you later. Bye-bye.